Is there a secret book? Someone told me there was a secret book that was only available to members of secret societies. I don't know if that's true or not, or a miscommunication, a misunderstanding. Perhaps a tall tale was told. But a rumor was spread that a secret book existed that was only available to um, certain members of, of a secret society. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. But supposedly this book um, shows what um, mineral deposits there are um, in the state of California and where they are, what they are and where they, where they are. Um, and that's interesting. And it was hard to look up a book such as that without knowing a title. But I accidentally stumbled across the book that I think may have started the rumor. And I don't, I don't think that it really, I mean, I don't, I don't know, think it was widely known, but I'm not sure if it was limited to secret societies. I don't, I think maybe that was a tall tale. Um, but it probably wasn't widely known. Anyway, here's the book. Let's check it out. Minerals of California, Bulletin 136, 1948, Division of Mines. State of California, Department of Natural Resources. Now, there's also a book within a book. This little booklet, and it talks. About, this talks about all kind of stuff like gold and quartz, and stuff like that. I've been told there's rubies and diamonds and other, other such things in California. Perhaps emeralds, different types of crystals. Now, what's interesting here? Okay. Contents. Now, this is a very old book. Introduction, Historical and Geological Sketches, Aboriginal and Indian Minerals. The Discovery of Gold in California. Now, as I mentioned, this book is said to um, identify minerals in California as well as their location where, where there are deposits of them, where deposits of them have been proven to have been found. And that's what makes the book interesting. Borax, Discovery in California, Searles Lake Deposits, Crestmore, Pegmatite Gem Area of Southern California. This has a lot of information about Southern California and also something interesting that's popular on YouTube, Cerro Gordo. That's an old mining town, a ghost town. It has information on the uh, mineral deposits there. The glaucophane schists. Um, I think a geologist would understand that term better than I can. The Dana classification of California minerals. Descriptions of California minerals and mineral localities. See, this is what I was getting at, that it describes the minerals and their locations. Bibliography. Uh, serials, consulted, references, illustrations, map of Mojave Sink region and turquoise mines, Benetot, Neptunite, crystallized gold, gold leaf on quartz, kunzite, asonite garnet, gem tourmaline, I have a feeling if I turn the pages more, maybe. Preface, widespread interest in California minerals and mineral resources began early in the history of the state and has continued to increase to the present time. Minerals of California. Here's a, a list right here of some of the minerals. Partsite, melanite, mariposite, calaverite, metacinnabar. 
I noticed that this talks about cinnabar and locations where cinnabar has been found and still can be found. In one part of the book, it discusses a location where uh, people actually pan um, cinnabar uh, crystals out of a river or creek. They like using a gold pan. They just pan uh, pieces of cinnabar. Now, cinnabar can be valuable in uh, in high quality, like gem um, specimens. Introduction. A mineral may be defined as a chemical compound formed under natural conditions, having essentially uniform properties and composition. Most minerals are solids at ordinary temperatures, mercury and water being exceptions, occurring normally as liquids. In the solid form, minerals ordinarily possess a definite atomic structure characteristic for each species although the structure this structure is occasionally missing in which case the mineral is termed amorphous so this book is interesting it covers a lot of things like terminology um background information on mineral for min the formation of minerals and stuff minerals may be formed by crystallization from a melt as in the case of those characteristic of igneous rocks from solution as in veins or by sublimation from a vapor usually at a volcanic vent now uh, where it talks about the solution is in veins that is interesting they're talking about hydrothermal water and that is an interesting subject Igneous rocks are those which have been formed by the solidification on cooling of magma or molten rock material. Usually this results in the crystallization of the rock forming minerals. But sometimes the cooling is so rapid as to prevent this crystallization and the resulting product is like a glass and called obsidian. At times, igneous rocks cooling on the surface of the earth have bubble holes formed by escaping gases. These openings are called vesicles and may be filled or partially filled by deposition of later mineral matter to form geodes or lithophysae. The texture of igneous rocks is determined largely by the rate of cooling. Now this is an interesting book. I'm gonna go over it more in subsequent videos. Um, there is the title if you wanna look it up, maybe you can find it on eBay. Minerals of California, State of California Department of Natural Resources, Division of Mines. So I'm gonna make some more videos about uh, at least one more section of this book. Um, subscribe for updates. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.